number three is authorize the city engineer to proceed with capital project 09-20, demolition of the former school at 456 Elizabeth Street, and to expend funds up to the programmed amount of $291,000. So moved. Second. Any comment or question regarding this resolution? Mr. Smith. This, uh, this project has been dear to my heart. 19 years in a row now I've walked by that school and watched it fall apart. I commend the council, I commend this administration for proceeding and doing some active um, activities that are certainly leading to solving the problem. My concern as a citizen is that we're doing it too much post, too hastily. We're leaving the city exposed in many areas. Now, demolition and construction of that venue is something I've spent 30 years of my life doing. I've done $6 million specifically. <coughs> I've demolished 10-story buildings, silos, you name it. I've brought it down. What I see over there is we're looking for a real problem. I commend the city for using city workers. I think we need to think outside the box to get the project done. But I believe that we're leaving ourselves exposed. The first comment I would make and is that we're working on a project that still is in another gentleman's name. If I'm right, the newspaper said we expect to do this 291000 and send Mr. Baker a bill. <coughs> Well, I spent years with teams of attorneys, and I know we have the esteem as the boss up here to guide us, but in my experience, if somebody sent me a bill for tearing down my building that I still own and have my name on it, I want to know where my damn building was. Sure, I've got a bill, so what? Where's my building that I expected was worth multi-million dollars? It looked like it was worth $2 million to me. The city deemed that they have the right to tear it down because it's a hazard. I think in a good court of law, we might lose that fact. Secondly, is, so on that reflect, I would strongly urge the city before we move forward is that we get this property out of his name, just to protect us. Secondly, is the city engineers are not demo workers. I walk by there, that building should be sealed up tighter than a, a vault on Friday night. The, Wind blowing straight through. I know they've done asbestos abatement work, but they have not taken into effect. And if you take an airborne sample and you get air EPA up there, and you take a sample, you're going to find things like mold. I'm sure there's residual from the pigeon feces that's in there. And right now, that is all wide open from the main street side because they need light in there to work to the Elizabeth Street side. Now, I've heard that this has been cleaned up, but when I walk, Coming down from Grove Street, we got the nice fresh air, but all of a sudden the air starts to change in odor. And the closer you get in front of this gentleman's property, it gets a little stronger. By the time you get down by Mr. Dunn's property on a warm day, even now, you can very noticeable. So they can tell me that they cleaned out the hazardous waste out of there, and I'm sure they have cleaned out most of the asbestos. <coughs> But it's still a hazard because the building has been vacant, full of mold, full of pigeon feces, and the amount of work they did in there did not remove that. Our children play Little League just south of there, or just outside of that number. The prevailing winds blow right to them. We need to go in and just step back. I'm not saying not proceed with the project, but let's step back and protect ourselves. And let's find out what is the proper way to really take this down got a good basis for a plan. But I would be concerned that the city worker, who are not construction workers, gets hurt in there. I would be concerned that uh, the uh, debris that we are left with, we have a $291,000 contingency. I don't think that, in my opinion, that that's barely going to get it done. What happens if it does go on a quick, a quick uh, math here? If you paid your workers $15 an hour, and I don't know if that's what they get, I'm making an assumption. The city workers, you could double that because of the cost of pulling them. In 10 weeks' time, you're going to use up about half of this budget.
respect to the question of, of title, the city code authorizes the city to enter a property to remedy and take down a, a dangerous building. Uh, it, it allows the city to enter property for a variety of reasons, but that is one of the reasons. Part of the procedure is that a proceeding is brought in Supreme Court, New York State Supreme Court, where a state Supreme Court justice reviews the city's process and either confirms or, or, or rejects that the city went through its process the way it's supposed to. The owner of the property was served with notice of a hearing that was held before the Common Council and was also served with notice of the proceeding that was filed in Madison County Supreme Court. The Supreme Court Justice uh, confirmed that we had gone through our process and has issued a court order that says it's, you know, we have permission to enter those, prom those promises to do this. Um, with respect to uh, how the, the demolition project would be conducted, I'll let Mr. Bacher address that. The building, the windows are open because typically, in my experience, and I do have some experience in terms of what in the city, bigger than this one, taller than this one, you take out the windows, you take out the glass, you take out anything that you can get rid of. And, and we did, we tossed out the, the, the window, uh, all the wood and those kinds of things. So you don't have to sort that out when it's on the ground. That's all gone gone and gone to the landfill. When we knock the building down, hopefully what will happen majority of it is, and there's more to take out of it, we got to get some metal out of there. You can still see some of the lights up there, for instance, those will come out. When we knock the building down, the majority of what will be left, hopefully, will be more masonry, brick, and that kind of thing that can always hard for us. That's what we're trying to do. It would be, in my mind, a waste of time, effort, and money when I can have that building on the ground in a matter of three or four weeks to go in there and seal it back up. As far as the asbestos is not, some of it's gone, it's all gone. I got a letter right here that says it's gone. And my appeal, my people turned out, and my build, people tore down buildings? Yes, more complicated than this one. On Cedar Street, in the year 2000, a five story building. In close proximity to other buildings, came down with absolutely no damage or incident of property or personal injury. When the fire site on 106 North Corner Street, left the west and south walls remaining in a five-story building. My crew came in with rental equipment and tore it down in close proximity to other buildings. And people have the experience. They know how to do it. We'll get it done. We'll get it done quickly. We'll get it done right. We'll get it done cheaper than a contractor. As far as labor, yes, my, my guys do make more than $15 an hour. Now, keeping track of the labor, but the labor is not included in the $291,000. That will be absorbed as part of the normal o and budget of the city. What we're going to be paying for is rental equipment, anything I need to take to the landfill. That's pretty much it. And how about afterwards? What's the property you're going to do? What, you got a plan for that afterwards? Well, we finish. What we'll do, what my crew will do, we'll clean it up, we'll backfill it, we'll grade it, we'll seed it. What it's going to be used for after that, that I don't know. That's the master plan ticket there. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not my business, okay? My business is getting this building down. I've been here for 17 years, and this damn thing's been a thorn on my side for the whole 17 We're years. I want it done, <laughs> down, and out of there, okay? With reference to the city employees, I've worked with them for the last 28 years with DBW. And as Mr. Blocker said, they're, they're good. They're good at what they do. I have no qualms with working with them. I know they can bring the building down safely and get rid of it. Um, as a taxpayer, based on the last estimate, to do this with a contractor, this project right now is going to save the city almost $500,000 in the, in the avenue or the road they're taking to get rid of it. As a taxpayer, I applaud them. For the people that sit up tonight and said we're on hard times, $500,000 is a big chunk of money to take out of your pocket and put back in the yeah, bank. Absolutely. So I think it's, it's the right direction. We messed around with this building long enough. It needs to come down. It needs to be gone. It needs to be seated. Let Parks and Rec mow it.